Hey Waste Babes, it's Honey here from Waste Vanity by Honey to give you a quick tutorial of how to customize those waist beads that you recently ordered to match your waist size, okay? Today we're going to cover how to customize a class waist bead as well as a tie-on waist bead. Um, and a quick supply list that you'll need in order to do this, you're going to need a pair of scissors, something to catch your excess beads that fall off um, once you cut it. Um, and if you want to secure your tie-on waist beads, you can always use a lighter to burn those ends together, okay? All right, so to get started, we're going to do the clasp waist beads first. So what you'll do is you'll take the waist beads out of the packaging. If they're already clasped together, you'll simply unclasp them. They're going to come 46 inches long, so I know um, most of us are going to have to customize them. Um, and so what you do is you use one clasp in. And you are going to measure your waist. And so for me, I like to wear mine a little higher up on my waist, if you can see that, um, to give them a lot of room to fall down. So if I measure them right here, and I know that this is about where I want them, so I'm going to put my hand right here. Um, if you have some tape, tape will also help you in this process. And you can put a piece of tape right there just to hold the area. And on the other end of the waist bead, you're going to go ahead and take those scissors and you're going to cut the clasp off, okay? And once you cut the clasp off, the beads are going to begin to fall off. And so what you're going to do is you're going to use that cup. That's what the cup or bowl, whatever you would like to catch those excess beads with. And you're going to just let them fall down in the cup, okay? After you've taken those off, you're going to get that clasp from the other side. You're going to take it, and if this is your clasp piece, you're going to put it through this end. Notice that the threaded piece is on the other side. And then you're going to take one of those beads that you took off and you're gonna put it right down, okay? And you're gonna let it fall down into that clasp, okay? After you do that, you're gonna tie a knot. And it might be an issue um, such as this one that the bead is too big to go down into the hole. And if that's the case, you're gonna get you another bead um, that's not as large because the bead needs to go down um, into the hole. Like so, so that bead fit perfect. You're gonna take your finger, you're gonna do one slip knot. All right, have my knot. After you get your knot, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut the excess off and then you'll remove that tape and we can do that a little bit later after we finish. And you're just gonna simply put your class waist beads on. And just like that, you've customized your class waist beads, okay? And so now we're gonna take our tie-on waist beads. This process is a little bit easier. Um, I guess depending on the person, I like the class process. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna wrap them around our waist. After we wrap them around our waist, we're gonna get them where we want them. Like I told you guys, I like to wear mine a little higher to give me some room for when my waist limbs down for them to fall. So we're gonna put them up here and you're just gonna cross them over, cross them over cross them over just so that it doesn't come down on you um, because you're also going to have to cut this one as well. And so make sure you don't cut too close to this because you need, still need some of the string to be able to double knot it um, after. So let's give ourselves some space. So I'm going to cut mine down here at the tip. Put my cup right here. And those excess beads will fall down in the cup. Okay, 
And see, that's what happens if you don't twist it enough. It will come apart, but don't worry, don't fret. As long as you catch it, you'll be just fine. And we're going to simply twist our thread around. And we're going to make a double knot, okay? Do it one more time. And honestly, you can do it as many times as you like um, for security purposes. I like to do it a couple because I leave my waist beads on for a very long time. So you don't want them to come off. All right. And so just like that, I've tied it pretty tight. And then you're just going to take your scissors. You're going to cut the excess string off, not too close to the knot. Um, and like I said, if you want added security, you can use a lighter and burn the end of it, okay? And if you want to use a lighter, make sure you leave a little bit more than I have because you don't want to burn your waist, all right? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And thank you again for supporting Waste Vanity by Honey.